today by top secret. Vimana. Ancient flying machine. The Vimana are spacecraft, land leviathans, airplanes, and interdimensional craft described in great technical detail in the ancient Vedic literature of India. Some were said to be as fast as thought itself. In the ancient Vimanka Shastra, science of aeronautics, there's a description of a Vimana, an apparatus which can go by its own force from one place to place or globe to globe. The Hikatha, Laws of the Babylonians, states that the privilege of operating a flying machine is great. The knowledge of flight is among the most ancient of our inheritances. A gift from those from upon high. We received it from them as a means of saving many lives. The Cypherla contains over 100 pages of technical details on building a flying machine with words which translate as graphite rod, copper coils, crystal indicator, vibrating spheres, stable angles, etc. The Ramayana describes a Vimana as a double-deck, circular aircraft with portholes and a dome. The Vimanika Sastra, a 4th century BC text, deals with the operation of Vimanas and how to switch the drive to solar energy from a free energy anti-gravity source. What is a Vimana? Vimana is a word with several meanings ranging from temple or palace to mythological flying machines described in Sanskrit epics. Reference to ancient Indian flying vehicles comes from ancient Indian sources, many are the well-known ancient Indian epics, and there are literally hundreds of them. Most of them have not even been translated into English yet from the old Sanskrit. It is claimed that a few years ago, the Chinese discovered some Sanskrit documents in Lhasa, Tibet and sent them to the University of Chandrigarh to be translated. Dr. Ruth Rain of the university said recently that the documents contain directions for building interstellar spaceships. Their method of propulsion, she said, was anti-gravitational and was based upon a system analogous to that of Lagama, the unknown power of the ego existing in man's physiological makeup a centrifugal force strong enough to counteract all gravitational pull. According to Hindu yogis, it is this lagana which enables a person to levitate. Dr. Raina said that on board these machines, which were called astras by the text, the ancient Indians could have sent a detachment of men onto any planet, according to the document, which is thought to be thousands of years old. The manuscripts were also said to reveal the secret of Andama the cap of invisibility in Garama, how to become as heavy as a mountain of lead. Although the Chinese are credited with inventing rocketry, some people believe that an ancient text from India describes sophisticated air flight by human pilots. Written by Maharishi Bharadwaja in the 4th century BC, allegedly dictated while he was in a trance, the Vimanika Sastra seems to talk about piloting some kind of aircraft, a Vimana with some astonishing capabilities dot sounding like a manual for aerial battle, or instructions to a video game, the text claims to reveal 32 secrets of piloting of Vimana, including Guda, permits the pilot to make his Vimana invisible to his enemies. Paraksha, enables the pilot to paralyze other Vimanas and put them out of action. Pralaya pushes an electrical force through the five-limbed aerial tube so that the pilot may destroy Pa in a cataclysm. Tara, provides the pilot with another means of avoiding contact with an enemy or hiding from observers, by mixing with ethereal force and parts of air force, seven parts of water force, and sixteen parts of solar glow, and projecting it by means of the star-faced mirror through the frontal tube of the Vimana. The appearance of a star-spangled sky is created. Jaladarupa, instructs the pilot in the correct proportions of certain chemicals which will envelop the Vimana and give it the appearance of a cloud. Was the Vimanika Sastra simply imaginative writing, rich with symbolism and religious meaning? Or was it a description of ancient yet advanced technology that humankind was not to rediscover until the 20th century? What is a Vimana? Vimana is a word with several meanings ranging from temple or palace to mythological flying machines described in Sanskrit epics. 
Reference to ancient Indian flying vehicles comes from ancient Indian sources, many are the well-known ancient Indian epics, and there are literally hundreds of them. Most of them have not even been translated into English yet from the old Sanskrit. It is claimed that a few years ago, the Chinese discovered some Sanskrit documents in Lhasa, Tibet and sent them to the University of Chandigarh to be translated. Dr. Ruth Rain of the university said recently that the documents contain directions for building interstellar spaceships. Their method of propulsion, she said, was anti-gravitational and was based upon a system analogous to that of Lagama, the unknown power of the ego existing in man's physiological makeup, a centrifugal force strong enough to counteract all gravitational pull. According to Hindu yogis, it is this lagana which enables a person to levitate. Dr. Raina said that on board these machines, which were called astras by the text, the ancient Indians could have sent a detachment of men onto any planet, according to the document, which is thought to be thousands of years old. The manuscripts were also said to reveal the secret of Andama, the cap of invisibility in Garama, how to become as heavy as a mountain of lead. Well what you think? Write it in comment.